been swamped by, well, rank idiocy, I think is the word, from the Central Coast and in particular Gosford Council. Let's go back a bit. You will recall we've had to endure people like Tim Flannery, the so-called climate change guru. In October 2006, this inflammatory alarmist on climate change, who seemed to want to seek out the worst and most extreme predictions, mind you, he's gone silent now, as we learn that the climate hasn't warmed, he wrote an opinion piece for the Fairfax Press in 2006, Climate's Last Chance, and he asked readers to imagine what a 25-metre sea rise would look like. And he said, picture an eight-storey building by a beach and then imagine waves lapping its roof. Lunatic. Forget that even the Australian Bureau of Meteorology estimated that at worst, our sea level has risen by 10 millimetres per year, less than half an inch for the last two decades. For the last two decades. It'll take thousands and thousands of years to reach Flannery's alarmist prophecy. But he was our climate commissioner, Professor Flannery. He warned the National Climate Change Forum shortly after his appointment the Australian families and their summer trips to the beach would be a thing of the past. Quote, it's hardly surprising that beaches are going to disappear with climate change. He said many of Australia's capital cities would all run out of water at different times. In 2004, quote, Perth will be the 21st century's first ghost metropolis. 2005, he said, Sydney could run out of water in as little as two years. 2007, he said, Adelaide, Sydney and Brisbane would need desalinated water urgently, possibly in as little as 18 months. 2008, he was added again. The water problem for Adelaide is so severe, it may run out of water by early 2009. None of this rubbish has been delivered. Why do these people curry attention? Now we've got people on the Central Coast writing to me, full marks of the Wyong Mayor, Doug Eaton. They're telling me they can't renovate their homes and insurance premiums are going through the roof. And Laurie McKenna, the Gosford Mayor, who used to coach soccer, seems to be endorsing this rubbish. So hazard lines, so there's a hazard line. You can't renovate your home if it's within the coast and the hazard line. So landowners are going to be stopped from doing maintenance work on their beachside properties and they're going to protect residents, as the council is, from the ocean swamping them, a la Tim Flannery. Well, I hope Laurie McKenna has banged his head against a wall because he's on the line. No, how are you? No, I'm okay, but the last time I met you was when we launched and you were the coach of the Central Coast Mariners and you struck me as an eminently sensible man. Some say that, but not everybody. Not now. Surely to God, you're not stepping into line with Tim Flannery with these exaggerated predictions. No, but we've just done public consultation over the last month to five of the local areas. We've had public support, a lot of public support, a lot of public feedback. Public support for what? No, they've come given us information. We've actually spent in public consultation and they've came in. We had quite a few hundred people at the five meetings. They've given us their feedback from because they're the people affected. Council's doing a report and it will come back to council in the next few weeks. The council meeting so, because we've got until June to put this report in. But hang on. Let's keep Laurie. It's starting to sound like a damn you're a you're a soccer coach, mate. A practical man, a practical man. Listen, a landowner is going to be allowed to renovate. Just supposing I own a home on the beach in your electorate. You're the mayor of Gosford. Can I renovate my home? Yep, yeah, you can renovate your home. Internally, you can do what you want. You can keep doing the maintenance. If it's something external, it has to go through the normal planning. Proposal. Nothing's changed in the last year. Nothing's so we can do our maintenance. And if yeah. I so, where is your hazard line? Do you have hazard lines? There are some hazard lines. What based on Tim Flannery saying that it's going to climb up right over the roof? I mean, no, based on Tim Flannery's lines. And when this report comes back to Council Island, then the councils will look at it. There's forty. But don't you have a proposal before your council that predicts sea levels will rise? by 40 centimetres by 2050. This is 16 inches, Laurie. Yeah, That's rubbish. We have that, and at the moment, and the other information we've got, the sea levels at Fort Denison haven't moved in the last 15 years. Correct. And by all the council of experts, they're not going to move for the next 15 years, so. But your council's most probably infected by all these Tim Flannery disciples. No, nah, I mean, I've never heard of Tim Flannery until Oh, good on you, good on you. 
Well, that, well, hang on. You, you, I've, I've read that you say that hazard lines are in place to protect residents from potential inundation. Inundation is a Scottish word for flood. Now, now, I mean, are there hazard lines? In other words, take the coast, keep it simple, and then you're specifying a distance inside the coast, and between that hazard line and the coast, you can't renovate and you can't maintain. Yet, right or wrong? We have got some hazard lines at the moment that are under review with this full report. That's right. And if you're between the hazard line and the coast, can you renovate your house and can you maintain your house? You can maintain your house and do whatever you want internally. If it's external, as in putting on extensions and that at the moment, you can't. Why? You say so. We're getting this report done. We're getting a report once. Well, what do you want a report for if you've got a bloody hazard line? No, we're getting a report. And checking, do we agree with the hazard line that's been put in place? That's what we're checking on, because obviously... Are you aware, are you getting information that sea levels have risen one millimetre per year for the last 100 years? That's four inches in 100 years. Where is the hazard? We're getting all that information, and that's why it will come to council in the next two or three weeks, because the state government issued us, we have to have the, the plan done by... June 2015, and we'll have it well in before then. Laurie, do, do you understand? Sorry, do you understand that whatever someone, it may not be you, Gosford Council goes on with this crap that the floods are going to wash over everyone's house. Insurance companies, hang on, hang on, but insurance companies, Laurie, are shoving premiums through the roof. Is so, it working? I mean, we're working with insurance companies. We started working with insurance companies last year, giving them all our information on our flood mapping and to help with people to keep the insurance levy. And hang on, I've got a letter from a Greenpoint family whose insurance in 2011 was 680 bucks. It's now 8,600 because of this stupid rubbish about hazard lines and the ocean is going to wash over their property. Now, it seems to me that while ever council sponsor that rubbish, you're moving in favour of insurance companies and against the residents. De definitely not. We'll be, there'll be a report done very soon on in the next few weeks after it's been done, I'll come back on the show and tell you what the outcome is. I'm not running away from it, hiding from it. We so will the report be public? Yeah. Good. It's going so to you'll get a copy of the report too? Yes, and it'll in front of the councillors, and right. the councillors will vote on it, and right. whether it's 40 seconds. Well, you've got all these left-wing trendies on the council, or are they sensible people? No, nah, they're sensible. We don't have too many left-wing trendies. Right on your lorry. Will you get that report to me? But in the meantime, in the meantime, let's stop talking about hazard lines and exaggerated predictions about what the oceans might do because the insurance companies are ripping people off. No, we will be, in the next few weeks, we will be done. Good. Now, the bloke yeah. Flannery you've never heard of, by the way, Laurie. I've, I've never heard of. Good. He appeared in my well, he's the Climate Change Commissioner. He actually lives in a waterfront home on the Hawkesbury River. Absolute waterfront. He obviously feels it. Climate change won't affect the Hawke's crew. I thought you were going to say you lived in Terrigo on the waterfront there and thought, mate, that's all this morning out my wall. Now, now, only people like you can afford to live at Terrigo, Lorry. <laughs> well, well paid soccer coaches. Okay, we'll get that report and we'll talk again. Yes, Aaron. Thanks for your time.